What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Punk Rock Radar. In this episode, we're just going to briefly uh, talk about our favorite records from January. We're going to try to do this each month. And uh, I'm joined by Dylan, a.k.a. Screeching Bottle Rocket from DyingScene.com, who's an expert on all things new music, especially punk rock. So, Dylan, you prepared this list for us. I, I completely agree with all your selections. Uh, what? Do, how do you feel that... 2023 is doing for punk rock so far for smaller bands it's off to a pretty good start uh none of the big boys have really released anything yet but uh i mean most of you guys who watch uh these videos and follow the punk rock radar instagram probably are into these kind of bands uh and you're you like listening to new upcoming bands so if you're into that kind of shit like uh, january was pretty good for that yeah so we're going to talk about this first album here. Um, both of us really like this band. We've been seeing that their followers are going up and up and up. More and more people are talking about it. This is one of us, their self-titled debut album. They had an EP that's no longer on Spotify, but I think it just had three songs from this record. But uh, Dylan, how do you feel about this one? What are your favorite uh, songs, parts of this record? It's killer. It's real good. Uh, this is definitely... A contender for my top 10 of the year list uh and it's crazy to say that we're only a month into the year uh i hadn't heard of these guys before this i didn't know they had a few songs out i think this took a few years for them to record uh it's super good though it's real good if you guys are into skate punk this reminds me a lot of the newer belvedere shit uh, these guys are from winnipeg so western canada man i don't know what's going on up there but they crank out some good ass skate punk, uh, and these guys are definitely part of that scene. Yeah, so the uh, punk punk shows Winnipeg Instagram account turned me on to these guys in like June or July. He sent me the EP, and the song "Sometimes Relief" was on there, and I was just like, "Damn!" Like, how have I never heard of these guys? And I was waiting for this record, and I think this kind of came out as a surprise. Like, it was just there. All of a sudden, there was a full length album, but. I'm right there with Dylan. This record is really, really good. Um, it's going to probably end up being on my top 10 as well. You know, it's still early, but we'll see how it goes. This second one we're going to do, Dylan, I think it's a pretty similar style. Uh, this this one came out on People of Punk Rock Records only a few days ago. I think very end of January. So we're just sneaking it in here. This is Colors Fade, built from the wreckage. Uh, the the single complaining's got a music video. It's been out for a little while. Looks like Open Book is their big song from the record. How do you feel about this one? Yeah, very similar vein to the uh, One of Us album. These guys have been around a little longer. This is their second album. They're real, real good. Uh, they're from eastern Canada, somewhere in Quebec, the land of Poutine, I think is how you pronounce it, something to that effect. Um, this is a little more metallic, uh, a little more strung out-ish than the One of Us album. If you guys read my shit on Dying Scene, uh, I reviewed this album uh, the week it came out. I put my review up, and I gave it five stars. It's the... Um, first album I've given a five star review to since Dying Scene came back earlier this year. Um, so yeah, it definitely gets my endorsement. These guys are killer. Yeah, I'm right there with you. These we have the same top two albums so far this year, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. Our our top ten list last year were, were also pretty similar, but yeah, this is gonna be top two for me as well. Like Dylan said, for fans of strung out, fast technical skate punk. I think a lot of you guys will dig this one. And if you do, head over to People of Punk Rock, support the band, support that label, pick up the the record. It's on some cool colors. Yeah, uh, People of Punk Rock's killing it. I know, man. They're they're knocking out of the park. Here I am complaining. I'm still searching for solutions. We are not All right, album number three of our best of January comes from uh these guys are British. I think it's one guy, actually. I think it's a one-man band. Uh, Mark Murphy and the Meds on uh, Punk Rock Radar sister label, Cat's Claw Records. I think it's on Brass Neck, too. 
this is their his second album, Monochrome. Um, yeah, I mean, John's always talking about Green Day and shit. This album reminds me a lot of Green Day and a little bit of like a one man army kind of flair. I really like it. Uh, it's very slick and polished, which is kind of not what I'm normally into, unless it's like skate punk, like the last two. Uh, but I think it works really well. The dude did a real good job on this. I'm a fan of one man bands. Yeah, I think your Green Day comparison is pretty spot on. Like I hear, for the for me, the vocals are kind of uh, like Mass Intruder, Chicks Dig It style more, and like the music is very Green Day esque. But yeah, Mark Murphy and the Meds, uh, great band here. I also I want to shout out their record from last year too. She's Been to Reno is my favorite Mark Murphy song. So. Good starting point for the band, uh, but go check out Monochrome, uh, Cat's Claw Records, and Brass Neck. I'll leave links to both down below. Alright, so that'll do it for our album segment of the Best of January. Now we're on to our EPs, extended plays for the folks at home. Um... Where are these guys from? They're from South America, right? Like Brazil or some shit? That's a good question. I, I was going to say Italy, but... I think they're from Brazil. Italy. Uh, Italy, whatever. Yeah. Same difference. <laughs> Pretty Italy close, of, yeah. <laughs> Italy, or Brazil of the, the East or the West or whatever. Uh, Stannis. Yeah, here's uh, some more skate punk. We're uh, three for four on our picks being skate punk albums. Or EPs in this case. Um... I didn't realize until after I already listened to this, every song title was like, To Do Something. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, maybe if you guys were reply to my messages, Stannis, I could ask you uh, <laughs> what the meaning is behind that. Um, but yeah, same thing as Colors Fade in One of Us. You guys like fast skate punk, melodic shit. Uh, Stannis, check them out. Yeah, th this one I really like too. I think this was like the first album of the year that I, I did an album of the day for. And I actually found this. I followed the guy who drew, who drew the album art. I had no idea who this band was. And uh, I followed the artist. I'll leave a link to him down below. It's escaping me right now. But he does a lot of uh, band art. And he was talking about this record from like mid last year. So I was waiting the cover, on it. The cover is cool. It's one of my favorite parts of it. Yeah, the color scheme is badass. So... Great art on here. My favorite song is to cover off this one. Unless, Dylan, do you have a favorite song you'd rather play? No, I, I like all of them. All right, so we're going to play to cover, and we'll leave a link down below. Uh, so they're, they're not replying to you on the Dying Scene account, or you're personal? I'm just curious. I mean, I, I tag them in, like, posts and stories on Dying Scene's account, and they're ghosting me, man. <laughs> come on, guys. All right, come love on, you, come on, guys. I love you. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching this, go poke the band stand. It's time to answer us. Come on. Poke me on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, our second and I guess last EP, Best of January, uh, comes from the Old Scars. These guys are from Virginia Beach. Um... I did a written version of my best of of January on Dying Scene that you guys can check out if you want. It's called a DS Staff Picks, uh, Dylan's favorite, blah, 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 of January. Uh, these guys are on there along with all the rest of this stuff, but uh, I compared them at the time to Against All Authority minus the Ska. They kind of have a like a like a gritty Against All Authority early Rancid feel, that first, that first Rancid album. Uh, and I stand by that comparison. So if you like early Rancid uh, and then Against All Authority's more hardcore stuff, uh, then check these guys out. This is, uh, I think they've been around a while. Uh, I think they got a bunch of EPs. I don't think they have a full-length album, even though this is branded as an album. If it's not 10 songs, I'm sorry, guys. Not an album. It's an EP. All right, so now we're going to hit our uh, best singles of the year so far. We've picked out like six or seven, I think, uh, starting with the Bouncing Souls, 10 Stories High, title track off their new record coming out in March. Uh, Dylan's heard the whole thing. He says it's the best album since Anchors Away. 
Um, I've only heard these first two songs, but I'm very, uh, I've got, I've got a really good feeling about this album. The souls are back. So that's the first one. And then Dylan, what else we have on here? We got nothing town by fake news from Australia. Uh, Australia is like the Canada of the Southern hemisphere when it comes to punk rock, I guess. Uh, they're cranking out good shit. This is the first single from their upcoming EP, which they announced the title of, but it escapes me. Um, but yeah, another band that reminds me of Belvedere, the newer Belvedere albums. Uh, it's a little slower, but still has a pretty brisk pace to it that I enjoy. And then we've got uh, Bridge the Gap, which I think this is coming on People of Punk Rock too, right? Yeah, another mistaken. one. We're pimping them out. <laughs> Yeah, people of punk rock, super cool label, cool uh, people over there. So happy to do it. This is the first single, I believe, off this new record that's coming out. Another really like uh, fast, I think, kind of rock forward skate punk style. So we got my creation on here. This and- one's pretty slow though. It's more someone compared it to uh, uh, Poli. Um, what's that Poli song? Insects it's Destroy. So, yeah, Insects Destroy. Yeah, I can hear uh, that. It reminds me of that. Um, they released another single off it that's faster that I, I like a little bit more, but they're both good. This album is produced by Bill Stevenson at the Blasting Room, so that's very notable. Um, it should be good. I think it's out in March. Damn, all right. All right, what do we got next, Dylan? Uh, we got... The Speakeasy, hey, another Canadian label, another Canadian band. We love Canada. America's Hats putting out good <laughs> shit. Uh, this isn't. This is kind of just like uh, it's not really skate punk. It's like melodic punk, pop punk kind of deal. I like the feel of it. The music video is real cool. I got to uh, work with Bruno at Thousand Islands. A real cool guy. Uh, he had me do the video premiere on dying scene with exclusive premiere world's uh debut of this music video it's a really cool song uh we're coming up on summertime soon this song has a real cool summertime feel all right so our next single is from uh, the band one reason to rise uh super cool guys on instagram communicate with both dylan and i uh, this is the song live ride repeat there's actually two versions of the song there's the spotify version and then uh, if you head over to their band camp, which I'll leave a link for, they actually got Ian McKay's permission to use a clip of his speech he gave at the Library of Congress. So pretty pretty sweet that they were able to secure that. But uh, Dylan, what do you think of this song? It's badass, man. We like skate punk. There's another skate punk song. You guys like skate punk. Listen to this <laughs> song. It's skate punk. I like skate punk. <laughs> all right, well, They're from Columbia. I don't know if you said that, but... Uh... No, we're Pretty we're all over cool. the map. Uh, I think the souls are the only international man. The souls are the only uh, American band so far, I believe. But and then we got Dead All Right, which I think is is Thousand Islands too, right? It is. So uh, what you what you Back like about this song? Um, this guy, it's another one man band. That's interesting. We got two one man bands. Uh, um, he released two singles from an album he's been working on, I guess. I think all the songs have been recorded. He's just, like, putting some finishing touches on him. He's going to slowly, like, drip feed a bunch of singles out until the album is complete. Um, We picked Smoke and Mirrors. This is the first single. Uh, I really like it. Uh, The guy's got a really good voice. He's in another band, um, which the name escapes me right now. Um, Brand New Lungs. Uh, completely different feel from his main band, uh, but he's got a really good voice. Uh, it's kind of like I would compare it most to like Chris from uh, the Flatliners, kind of that kind of throaty uh, voice. Um, but yeah, check out this one and the the most recent single, "Strong Enough to Fail." I like that one a little bit more than this one, but they're both really good. All right, so guys, that's going to be our uh, our best picks of January so far, 2023. We're going to update this um, every month, maybe even do a long-form uh, podcast style, so keep an eye out for that. And I will leave a link to this playlist. You can hear all of our favorite songs down below, and make sure you're following it because we're going to, like I said, update it as the weeks go by. Uh, Dylan, what else is up? Anything else you want to drop uh, happening over at Dying Scene? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, check out the written version of this column. Uh, we can link it in the description. If I mean, if you're still watching at this point, you probably like watching things more than you do reading them. But <laughs> if you, uh, I got I got all the the Bandcamp players embedded with the the whole albums and EPs on there. If you prefer to consume it in that manner, I also have some more news type snippets included in it my favorite news pieces from the month of january the no effects tour stuff uh less than jake recording um things like that in there just kind of a roundup of the happenings of january um so yeah check that out check out i do a weekly column on dying scene called the record radar uh if you're into collecting vinyl records it's all about that all the new uh, reissues and releases that came out that week, uh, color variants. So yeah, uh, check all that shit out and thank you guys for watching.